autonphobia is the fear of wax figures, things that are human-ish, and robots. Now, I find Atlas incredible and terrifying at the same time, and a lot of us do, because Atlas is really kind of human. The reason that we're scared of it, we call Uncanny Valley, and that was first termed by roboticist Masahiro Mori. We actually like things that are human-like, but when they become so human-like that they're mimicking us to a great extent, but are just a little bit off, that actually freaks out our brain. functional MRIs, they found that people that are afraid of very human-like robots, the part of their brains that are bothered by this is the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala. The prefrontal cortex is the part of our brain that deals with consequences to actions. It's the part that suppresses urges to fear, deals with social interactions and decision-making. And the other part greatly fires is the amygdala, that part that deals with anxiety and fight or flight. We're made to notice variance in behavior. There's something wrong with this. We have parts of our brain that actually fire to humans. And with robots, they're very human-like, but off. And that offness causes us to be bothered. A blank stare, which happens a lot with robots, a blank stare makes us feel uneasy because we cannot read intention in those actions the way that it twitches, the way that it moves, that there's something that it's not reading. It's not mimicking our behavior properly. Because a lot of interactions is mimicry, it's mirroring, and that makes us feel more comfortable. But when that mimicry is just a touch off, it sends a signal to our brain that there's actually something wrong with this. We're not able to perceive what they're going to do. And that makes us feel frightened. They're quite human, but they're not at the level where we can tell that they're not human so they feel safe because we can understand and control them. Watching how tough they are when, you know, I think to myself as I watch Spot, um, who I would grab if I could afford in a heartbeat, because think about walking Spot on the road, that would be the coolest thing ever. But watching him open a door, all I think about is if I was on the other side of the door trying to keep the door closed. <laughs> and I think a lot of that fear is also fed by robots that we see in media, right? You're thinking about Terminators, you're thinking about you know, black mirror scenes of these robots trying to get us. Ex machina, ex machina, eh, whichever way, you think about these robots becoming intelligent and sentient, and you know what? Seeing that we're kind of a bother, because sometimes we are. All I think about when I'm watching the robustness is how would I fight these robots if I had to, if they ever did decide to overthrow their overlords. <laughs> And their relentlessness to it, that they will never give up. They will never get tired. Hopefully they run out of power really, really soon. We're getting better with battery life as well. And that also creates that fear because us as humans, we do get tired. We do lose hope. We have that knowledge that there's an empathy. We can reach other humans. We can discuss with them. But for robots, you can't. And that adds to the creep factor. When you're watching Spot get dragged away and fighting back and just continuing with a single-mindedness, we think about how non-single-mindedness us as humans really are. So I might be investing in really large magnets. Give me what your thoughts are and your feelings towards robots. And if you like this video, 
please hit subscribe.